All right, so in today's video, we're going to be going a little bit more review about adjectives and adverbs. So you're going to remember from the last chapter, or a few chapters ago, we were talking about how adjectives can be made into adverbs. Um, and so we took uh, adjectives from the group, the 212 group. So for example, um, I, I keep using lightos, but that's the one that always comes to mind. Um, lightos. Laita, Laitum, and you'll remember that we had to just chop off this end in and add what letter? Yes, an E, and we had Laite, so happy and happily. All right, so we were able to um, kind of expand our understanding of Latin vocabulary and see connections between them. So, 212 adjectives create adverbs that end in an E. Well, the same holds true for the third declension type adjectives, all right? Um, so, if you, you can turn to your book, and this is on page 39. Um, we have adjectives like brewis, brewis, brewe, so that means for the masculine and the feminine form, the nominative singular ends in an is, and then it's neuter form and ends in an e, but then everything else goes Decl uh, declines the, uh, the way you would expect the third declension noun to decline. We also have um, another example, ferox, 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 so fierce, so and we, we know that our masculine, feminine, and neuter forms all look the same, and often we'll see the genitive form with this one, ferro, kiss. All right, so we have these um, these are very common types of third declension adjectives. We've seen these patterns before. The S is A and then X is um, being repeated. And these ones also will change into adverbs with a simple um, subtraction of an ending and addition of another one. So all we have to do is we take our genitive form, brevis, ferocus, you chop off not the entire ending, but just the S, and you add T-E-R. Breviter ferocater. So, shortly and fiercely. And that's it. So I'll go through that again. So you took the genitive form of, the, of brevis and ferox. So it was brevis and ferocus. You, chop, you, you got rid of the S, you subtracted the S, and you added T-E-E-R. All right, and that's all you have. So if we look down on our patterns down below uh, in part C, you'll see sawis means sweet. And so to make the adverb form, all we had to do was take off the S. So take off this S, add a T E E R, and there we have sweetly. All right, uh, negligens. Take off that S, T-E-R, again tear, all right? Um, and you can practice more with some of these, one, the words in, in the ones apart, the D and E. Um, but that's all we have for um, ad, adjectives and adverb patterns of the third declension type adjectives, all right? So thanks for watching the video. Um, if you have any questions, like I've always said, feel free to leave comments in, uh, below, and I'll try to get to them as, as much as possible. All right. Thanks, guys.